Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about all of my favorite products that are under $10. So these are fantastic products that are very affordable. Not only are they drugstore prices, but they are under the $10 mark at the drugstore. So I gathered quite the collection of my favorite drugstore products, and then I looked each of them up, and I put aside the ones that were over $10. So I have 15 products to share with you, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first is a new discovery that I recently found. It's the Profusion uh, Eye and Cheek Palette. So I got this at Target about a month ago, and it just kind of sat on my counter as something I wasn't really too excited to try. This retails for $9.99. I filmed a video last week with this. Um, it hasn't gone up on YouTube yet. It might be up by the time this is up, or it might be up shortly after. But I was blown away by the quality of this palette, especially the matte shadows in particular are phenomenal. The shimmers, I would say, are okay. They're not bad, but they're not like knock your socks off impressive. But uh, they just take a little bit more work, but you can still get a really beautiful high pigment look with both the shimmer and the mattes and they stayed on my face pretty well all day. I actually did a foundation review the same day that I filmed my tutorial with this and as I was checking my makeup throughout the day I noticed that my eyeshadow hadn't faded or creased or anything like that. I was really really impressed. Um, as far as the blushes that go in this palette they're okay. They take a little bit more work to work with but you do get 12 eyeshadows. You get a kind of a warm section and then you have the cool section here. You get four blushes and then you get two highlight shades. So Profusion is found at Target. They have other palettes. Uh, they have smaller palettes uh, that are just eyeshadow. I haven't tried any, but I definitely will be picking up more Profusion products, especially any palettes that are exclusively matte, because that's what I found most impressive. They are a little bit dusty, but um, that doesn't bother me because I find even some of my other favorite high-end shadows like Anastasia Beverly Hills I find to be very dusty, but the quality is still there. So this is a fantastic product, and it's $9.99. So while we're talking about eye palettes, I want to share with you this Milani Everyday Eyes. I have two of these. I have the Must Have Naturals, which is this one, and then I have the other one that's a little bit more bronzed. I actually have this on my eyes today. You can see it's just a really pretty kind of very cool tone, soft, smoky eye. For the price, these palettes are fantastic. You really get everything you need to create a complete look. It makes it very easy and simple to do your makeup. You kind of have exactly what you need here. Um, and I forget how much these are, but these are um, well under $10 and they're a great quality. They do come with like a little applicator, but I just kind of toss those out and use my normal brushes. But if you're looking for just a good, simple, small eyeshadow palette, especially a great one for travel, these are great because they give you everything that they need and they're easy to work with. Okay, one more eyeshadow, and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallics. So I have two of these. I have this one, which is Brass Knuckles, and then I have another. I think it's called Caged or Caged Animal, and it's um, more kind of silver. But these are so high pigmented, you guys. It almost looks to me like a cream. The texture is really creamy, really pigmented. They are so, so beautiful. I use these a lot. Sometimes I will top an eye makeup look that I have on if I'm doing a natural or neutral eye, and I just want to pop up a little metallic in the center of my lid. I'll use my finger and just kind of apply that, but really great quality. Okay, so let's move on to lips. I have several lip products, but some of them are the same product, just different colors. Um, first, I wanna start with a new lip liner that I recently discovered, and I haven't talked about this at all yet or used this in the video. It is by the brand Rimmel London, and it's the Exaggerate Lip Liner. Um, I have the shade this East End Snob, and I like it because it's just like this really pretty kind of baby doll pink. I like the shape of this liner. If you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but it has like this flat side. So I like that because it makes lining your lips really nice. You're not going to get like a really thin, sharp lip line that you then have to worry about blending out. It kind of fits the contour of your lip really easily. So as you create the line, you're almost creating that thicker lip line that's easier to blend out and that's going to blend in with your lipsticks more nicely. Very nicely pigmented, very creamy. It is self-sharpening, which I really love. You don't have to worry about having a sharpener near. Buy. And I want to say this is like the $5 range. So I will definitely be picking up more shades in this lip liner. The L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks. I love these lipsticks. They feel so nice on the lips. I already have quite a bit of lip product on, so I'm not going to put this on my lips. So these, um, I have the Sparkling Rose Color Riche Shine. Um, it's kind of sheer in color, but you can build it to get a little bit more color. They're very moisturizing on the lips. They have a nice pretty shine to them, almost kind of mixed with like a medium pigment lipstick and a gloss. They're not really sheer like some glossy lipsticks 
tend to be, but they're not super pigmented that's gonna stay on the lips all day. For me, I really like these because they're comfortable to wear, they're really pretty, they're easy to wear because like I said, they're not like a liquid lipstick or a really high pigmented lipstick, so you can just throw them on real easily, especially on casual days. If I'm not wearing a lot of eye makeup and I just want something on my lips, because my lip natural color is kind of like non-existent like it's very gray my natural lips don't have a pretty pink color to them so I almost always have to put something on my lips so I don't look so my face has some color and these are really nice because you can throw them on really easily without a lip liner and they just give your lips a little bit of color and a little bit of shine and really really comfortable on the lips okay these glosses I know you guys have heard me talk about them you're probably gonna be like we get it Lisa we get it you love the Milani keep it full lip glosses but you guys they are so good I have three shades one of them is missing I think it's called and uh, enchanting or I don't know I will find it and link it down below I can't find it. it's in one of my purses so I have the nude shimmer and the moonlight and then I have that more uh, prismatic peach maybe is what it's called I, I forget I'll, like I said I'll have it listed down below I love these glosses they are so high shine you guys they just give the lips a look at that they give the lips a very wet glossy look they have a really thick uh, fat doe foot applicator so they feel really nice Upon application, they have this really nice, like, pepperminty scent to them. Um, they just make the lips look really full and really glossy. Not a ton of color, so they're great for lip toppers to put on top of a lipstick. Um, of course, you can wear them by themselves. You're not going to get a lot of color. So this one is Moonlight, and it's clear with, like, a pinky purple iridescent. And the Nude Shimmer is kind of um, more of, like, a peach gold shimmer. Um, yeah, with a little bit of a beige undertone. So these are really nice. I love these glosses. They just feel incredible on the lips. Also by Milani, I haven't talked too much about these, but I've really been enjoying them lately. They are the Milani Amore Shine Lip Colors. So these uh, are a liquid lip color. These are basically like a really pigmented lip gloss. I have two shades. I have Delight and then I have Enchanting. And I have Delight on today with the Rimmel Lip Pencil, so you can see that it just gives a really soft shimmer on the lips. This one has less color, but it has a lot of shimmer to it. So I use the Enchanting Lip Pencil to give my lips a little bit more color. But let me show you what these swatch like on the hand. Um, the applicator on this is smaller than the Keep It Full, but I do like that it has a little slant to it, so it just fits on the lips perfectly. These would be kind of like a two-in-one. So you really wouldn't wear a lipstick underneath them just because they do have quite a bit of pigment. It would almost kind of color cover whatever lip color you have on. That's not to say you can't wear them over a lipstick. If you like that look and you want to go for it, by all means. But see, as you can see, this one right here has more color to it, so you can kind of tell better than the other one. The other one's a lot lighter. But see, that's really pigmented. So if you're using a lipstick that's a similar color, it's almost uh, kind of pointless to put it down there unless you're trying to get a longer stain power. But these are going to give you a ton of color and a ton of shine. So my next two products are by Physicians Formula. You guys have heard me talk about these a lot. They have made it into several favorites videos. As you can tell, I am due for another, and I want to say this is my second or third one. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I want to say that you can find this. Um, this actually, depending on where you buy it, might be over $10, but I did find this, I want to say, at Target and Walmart. It was under $10, and maybe Ulta, it was above $10, so just be aware of that. It's such a beautiful bronzer. I have this shade bronzer. I know it comes in other shades, but this is like the perfect natural bronze. It's not really deep, but it's deep enough to give me some color, but look very natural. I love the smell of it. It still has that smell, and this one is pretty old. As you can see, it's very loved, but can still get that coconutty smell. It just reminds me of vacation. I love this. And the next is their Butter Blush. So I have the shade Vintage Rouge, and it's just this pretty soft, like, peachy pink color. Just like the bronzer, it's very creamy, and it just goes on really nicely. It does have that same coconut smell, which I love. Again, I think this is a product that you can find over $10, but you can also find it under $10, so be aware of that. Um, it's funny, like, I tend to always just default to Ulta, but when I was looking online, Ulta seemed to be priced higher than um, some of the other retailers like Target and Walmart, so that's something to consider, but um, does that mean I'm going to stop shopping at Ulta? No. I just thought I would throw that out there because I found quite a price discrepancy between Ulta and some of the other retailers, so there's that. 
Okay, going back to Milani, this Conceal and Perfect uh, Shine Proof Powder, I love. I discovered this about maybe two months ago, and I've talked about it recently, I want to say in a favorites video. I really love this powder, you guys. So I use it to set foundation. So I'll apply it like, you know, my medium coverage foundation, and I'll just dust this to set it. It gives a very kind of flat matte look, so it does give a more made-up look if you use this. It's not like a powder that gives any luminosity, and it does get a, give a little bit of coverage. So if you are wearing a full coverage foundation and you feel like it looks very heavy, I wouldn't recommend setting it with something like this. I would use more of a lighter weight, loose, translucent powder because that'll set your foundation, give you that matte finish, but not add any coverage or color. But if you're wearing a sheer foundation or a BB cream or something that doesn't give a whole lot of coverage and you want to set it, um, this might be a good option because this will give you a little bit more coverage. It'll set everything, keep everything in place, and just like I said, give a tiny bit more coverage. You could also wear this alone if you just apply like a moisturizer, even a tinted moisturizer, and you use like a kabuki brush. You could go and kind of buff this on the skin, and it would give like a natural, it would give like a kind of light up to maybe a medium coverage if you were to compare it with a concealer. So this is a really versatile powder. Like I said, I just use it on top of a foundation, but you can certainly, on those days that you don't really want to have a lot of makeup on, do your concealer, maybe spot conceal, and then apply this over your moisturizer, and it'll give you um, fairly decent coverage. So just a few more products to get through. The Flower Beauty Vinyl Eyes Eyeliner. I love this, you guys, and I have the shade Bronzed Out. This is another one that I know I talk about a ton, but this is kind of the, my go-to eyeliner for my lower lash line. I don't really like putting black on my lower lash line. I feel like it's just a little too harsh for my facial features. This one is dark enough to give me you know, a good dark definition, but it's um, not as harsh as black. It has the most subtle kind of bronze flex to it. Um, and I like it because once it sets, it stays in place, but it's still soft and creamy and I can work with it and soften and smudge it or smoke it out with a brush or a shadow if I go in and immediately do it after application. If I give it too much time to set, it's going to set and stay in place. But I really like the color and I like the formula and I like that it also is self-sharpening. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil. You guys turned me on to this maybe about a year ago. Uh, I was raving about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz at the time. That was my favorite brow pencil. And so many of you said, uh, recommended that I try this. And you guys, it is a very great dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And it's NYX, so I want to say it's like under the $8 mark even. It has a spoolie on the other side and the pencil here. It's a very fine, thin, tiny pencil. So if you like very precise brows or really creating that really precise brow, this is a great product for that. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, another favorite. And if you have been watching any of my videos, you have likely heard me talk about this. I have lash extensions, so I don't really wear a ton of mascara. Um, but when I had taken them off and I was trying to regrow my lashes, um, I obviously needed mascara that was going to give me a lot of impact because my natural lashes were kind of weakened for a while. And I was really into the Chanel volume, and then I tried this when it launched, and I would say that they are like neck and neck. Um, the only downfall to this mascara is that it doesn't really last too long. I would say you want to replace it every month because it does get kind of clumpy. There are things you can do. People say you can drop like saline drops in there to kind of um, thin it out a little bit. Someone told me you could put it in hot water before you apply it. Um, so there are tricks, but it's $9.99 and it's a fantastic thickening volumizing mascara. I think it's the best at the drugstore that I've tried. Okay, almost done. The Milani Eye Primer. You guys see me use this in videos all the time. It's a fantastic eye primer. What I love about it is it's Stain Power One, but also I love the consistency of it. Uh, it's very thin and very sheer. Since I, when, Whenever I use products that I layer stuff on top of it, I really like it to be thin, sheer, and invincible. Um, I tend to wear a lot of layers of makeup, but I all want them, but I want them all to be really thin layers, just so my makeup doesn't look heavy or over applied. That goes for eyeshadow too. Uh, but I really like it and this is Milani so you know it's one of the more um, cheaper brands. I feel like Milani and Wet n Wild have the more less expensive price points at the drugstore. Okay, the last product is a brush that I just adore. It is the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush, and I use this for foundation, for liquid foundation. It's similar to like a round, dense kabuki brush, except it's a little bit softer, so I find that it kind of blends out a little easier, especially around the jawline, but it still gives you nice coverage. Um, I love this brush. The only complaint is it's not the greatest quality, you guys. It's probably five or six bucks, so you know, you do kind of have to replace it often. I noticed that the handle right here is getting a little bit loose 
and it's probably going to fall off in the next couple of months. So full disclaimer there, this is not a brush that's going to last you 10 years like my MAC brushes have lasted me that long. Um, but it's $6. I've had this for maybe about a year or so. I just really like the shape and the way that it applies foundation. I feel like it still gives me good coverage of full coverage foundations, but it makes it look a little bit more natural than a very short, round, dense kabuki brush. So really, really like this. All right, you guys, that wraps up this video. What do you think? Do you have any favorites that I talked about? What are some of your favorite under $10 items? Leave them in the comment section below. A couple of these I discovered because of you guys, so please let me know what are your favorite products. I always love getting suggestions from you guys and testing and discovering new products. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you in all my future videos. All right, you guys, as always, have a fantastic day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!